Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Alright, one little thing I did in between episodes was I took the, uh, bloodletting or whatever it was called. What is it called again? Bloodthirst. I took that off the scythe and put on Ravager instead. Because I never realized that you can still have, like, guaranteed souls for destroying environment objects. Of course, that's only if you use the scythe. Which is pretty good, all the same. And it'll give me more environmental damage. Like clustered straws. And it gives me more souls for smashing stuff as well, so how can I turn that down? Besides, I w it wasn't like I was getting much health from that particular... from Bloodthirst anyway, so... I think it became a bit of a letdown for me. Okay, here's our first challenge. At least you can do these in any order. We just need to find out what this one is. You can laugh all your life, but I've done these challenges many times. Counter Killer! Press R1 to block enemy attacks. Time block at point of impact from a block counter. Resulting in a quick, powerful attack. Oh, and we have to kill five enemies using this. What if I just beat it up a little bit? I mean, it can still attack me, right? Oop. That was too early. There we go. At least timing is pretty forgiving for this one. Nice. So yeah, even if you can get him in a chance to kill, you can still, like, do the thing. Did I just get two with one counter? Okay, that was actually pretty ballsy. Oh, you're only saying that now because I have the potential to destroy you. But yeah, keep praising me. I don't mind. I'll let you have it. Out of mercy. God damn, this is so visceral. I almost feel like I want to play Darksiders 2 again. I got pretty far in it, like I said before, and then I just stopped playing it. And it's a damn shame, too, because that game is also pretty good. How the frick do I get up here now? How did I get up here last time? I guess I can just take the stairs, duh. Yeah, it's above me, okay. Alright, here's another one. So what do I got to do for this one? Wrath of War. Kill 30 enemies using the destructive power of war's chaos form within the time limit. Do I get an infinite meter then? So I feel like that would be a massive oversight if you don't get unlimited, you know, chaos. No, you don't have unlimited chaos. But does it replenish really fast? 
That's what I like to know. Okay, you can't use it at all if until it's full. I see. So I guess I could just gotta beat the shit out of everything until it comes back. The good news is they give you a ton of enemies to fight. So you won't have to worry about a, a shortage. Okay, I don't think using my Wrath abilities gives it more. Okay, I'm getting myself rocked. You gotta be careful. Yes! Give me souls! Give me all the souls! I did it! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you know what? I have enough to get that harvester now. Sadly, no, unless we do another playthrough, Watcher. I'm sorry. But if I can only do the previous set once, I guess this one is the same condition. So now I gotta think about how the frick I'm gonna get up there. Let me look at the map. This looks like where I started, but how did I how do I come back? Oh, I guess I don't really have to, because there's one right here. Alright, let's go. You can press circle while you're in mid swing. That's cool. Oh, you can't skip this transition, huh? I don't know why I had to see it like eight times in total. Defender! Keep at least one undead soldier alive throughout the time limit. Bonus souls be rewarded for each undead soldier that survives. What? Oh, so I have to protect all of these, huh? So I gotta be careful to make sure they don't end up dying on me. Because they're all gonna be spread out like this. Or at least I can fight back, so that's a plus. Oh, but that time limit's five minutes! Uh oh. No. Oh, they're all grouped together! Okay, stay together! That's good! Like, stay where I can keep watch. Y'all can do that, that'd be great. Oh, they can get kills and I get the souls too. Uh-oh. Okay, they're gonna throw in this butt munch. I'm gonna need to charge. Oh, I can't do the dash in Chaos Mode? Really? So I get some raw power, but my capabilities are extremely limited.
Back away! Okay, we're still six for six. I don't want to jinx it now. We're almost halfway there. And I still have all six of my units. So I don't... I guess any of the enemies that don't... that have circles... Let's say, like, I can do the insta-death. I'll leave them alone so that my other soldiers can get them. Because I don't need to get those insta-kills. Let them have it. I can also use a home run swing to keep the enemy farther back. Guys, I think we can do it. Like, I know I probably jinxed myself, but I think we can actually get all six alive. I think it's more po possible than I thought it would be. Like, when I saw five minutes, I was, like, kind of scared. <laughs> but now it just seems more reality. Oh, Jesus, this guy again. Like, this big guy could probably do one attack that can cleave through six of them all at the same time. And that's the part that scares me. Because this could happen. I can't wait to see what else I can buy now. After the Harvester. There's one other enhancement I like to get, and that increases your Wrath over time. That might be my next priority purchase. Or maybe a new Wrath skill. We'll see. Oh, I only got five of six. Oh, that was so close, too. I almost had a perfect. Well, you can't get it all. I did my best. <laughs> Alright, last one. Now we just gotta find out how we get up there. So I think you gotta go where you kind of start this level. I don't know if I can get up there from this way, though. There is a cave behind the waterfall. Have I been there before? Yeah, I have been here before. That's not a way back up. It's all the way up there. But can't I... Have I been able to get over there? Oh, I think I know how. I have to go through here. Aha! That's how you do it. That is how it is dude. Okay, what do you have for my final challenge? I'm just dying to know. We're 
World of Pain. Kill 15 enemies using environmental weapon attacks. <laughs> I'll summon you some Pontiacs. <laughs> Would you like a Grand Am? <laughs> That wasn't a kill. Okay, well, that's definitely gonna be a kill. Yeah, I'll just soften them up a little bit, like I did with the uh, counter challenge. Give you what, four minutes? Yeah, it was four minutes. Oh, these guys should be down in one hit, really. Uh oh. Um, we have a bit of a problem. Too bad my Ninja Star is not really an environmental attack. It's probably made out of, like, items that might end up being bad for the environment. But that's just me. This is gonna be a bit of a problem because I gotta like maneuver my way away from these poison go golems and look at this guy. No, I didn't mean to kill him. God damn it. Are you kidding me? It made me drop the car. What this Oh god, now they're playing keep away. This they're doing it on purpose. So now I gotta start throwing the cars. I'm gonna have to end up taking a lot of damage from this. That's my car! You, you grease ass! Oh my god, I'm down to my last health bar! I might actually die in this one! I did it. Oh, damn. I That one I did poorly on. Well, I mean, I beat it, but damn, it really beat me up. Excellent. Are you sure? <laughs> I got a greater life essence anyway. So that's an extra crystal I can use for whatever I like. Can't complain about that then. Okay, that's much better. So now we gotta go all the way back to that Looks guardian like that or gatekeeper. Let's get out of here. Good, cause that last one kind of took me out of it. But at least it was good to know that was the only one that was that I considered rough. Like I don't think it was bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it was certainly the hardest one I've had. Okay, we need to get this horn back on.
I thought it was gonna try to sit on me. I wouldn't have liked that. Ooh, an abyssal armor piece. So how many is that in total? Five? Yeah, I think it's five. There's also a path over here that I didn't take. That looks like where I should have gone, like if I didn't jump in the water at all. Whoa! Were you trying to sneak up on me? Enjoy your water. Before it gets bottled up and sold for much more money. <laughs> okay, at least this tunnel is very straightforward. What's the rest of the map like? I could go through here. It looks like some kind of subway system. And there's all this that I still can't break. But I'm seeing more and more of those crystals, which means I'm very close to getting the item for it. I hope. Oh, I can't even use my scythe either. Why don't I think I could? I'm getting real sick of these fish. I'm not even kidding. Is it just me? It doesn't seem like there's a path over here. But it doesn't show on the map. Okay, I'm gone. You fish can have your water. I didn't want it anyway. What's over this way? Oh, nothing. Okay, I see what I gotta do. What? Did it just launch me at the perfect angle into the pit? Oh my god, I didn't even see the growth right there. I didn't even know there was a growth. Good thing I didn't miss the rope there. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, maybe I could have just used the ninja or used the star against it. Oh, there's a Vulgrim location too. Vulgrim location also means fast travel location. Oh, new items? Ooh. See, now you're tempting me with this kind of stuff. I can get a new blade. I can get the ricochet blade. Or I can get the shredder. <laughs> Please take your time. Ooh, possession is new. Let me trade in the artifacts. Got a lot of things. I'm gonna get the Harvester Scythe. Like. Death's legendary scythe devastates multiple enemies with large sweeping attacks. The Harvester also reaps more souls from fallen enemies. I'm buying it. I can also get Reaper's Revenge. I can upgrade the Blade Geyser. I could get Stone Skin. Or immolation. This is still locked. Nice. Generates wrath naturally over time. See like. I kind of want Bane. You know what? I'm gonna get it. And I should get the ricochet blade. Or... Should I get the Wrath Shard? Uh, 
Uh, well, better yet, I should get some moves for the scythe. Let's get the Hellraiser. And then after this, I might want to get... I'm going to upgrade the Harpoon Tackle. And I'll upgrade the Power Strike. So that'll be it. Are the sides like two separate items? No, the Harvester automatically replaces what I have. Which is good because honestly the Harvester would be better. But it doesn't have anything attached to it anymore. Um, I'm gonna put Bane on this. Instead of Weapon Master, we'll give that a break, because I'm already doing a lot of damage with this. So we'll go with Bane, and we'll go with Harvester. So how much Wrath do I get back? Well, you can notice it replenishing. Slowly, but it's there. It's like it's trying to millimeter its way forward. Ah, the anvil's forward. Ooh, look at that tower, too. I didn't know we were going to Mordor. So let's get a good look at this place. We only just need to go over here, so thankfully it's pretty close. And there's what looks like a courtyard there. And a whole bunch of other spots. Okay, so what I'm, I'm just going to go save it up. We'll stop the video here, and in the next part, we'll explore the Anvil's Ford. See you there, everyone. Thanks for watching.